it's actually right here to my left we've got the air jordan 11 retro cool gray return so the air jordan 11 cool gray will be making its highly anticipated return as part of the jordan brand's 2021 holiday lineup in celebration of the colorway's 20th year anniversary so there's been rumors kind of floating around about this release for a while you know and after 20 years from the model's original release we've got another retro coming so they did release on a like shock drop last week that's how we have them over here to my left so we're definitely happy that we were able to cop those but uh you know i do love the air jordan 11 model like it's one of my favorite designs from michael jordan's shoe line i just think that you know we don't see a ton of 11 releases like we've seen a bunch more of in the like other models in the oh, recent yeah, yeah. like we see a bunch of jordan threes ones, fours sixes fours, yeah. ones wow. even 14s like we've seen a bunch 14, of 14s coming out this year, year. it's kind of weird so i mean obviously you kind of got that gray upper with like the icy translucent outsole but like a super nice looking shoe but yeah i mean now that we actually have them what do you think about this release that's coming up because like like we said middle of december that's when they come out officially i mean i personally i got i took the l when it came out with that shock drop landon was lucky enough to pull through and look at these in hand these are definitely it these are oh, man. super nice in hand I, I wouldn't change anything about them and it's kind of weird it is kind of interesting that you did bring up that like you know nike only nike knows like the 11s very well where they only drop maybe one or two pairs per year what was it what was the big one last year that we uh went uh, all in the it jubilee was, it was the jubilee the yeah, jubilee jordan like 11s reverse. around was it this year or two yeah. years ago uh, or i mean last year or two years ago i think it was last year but i'm pretty sure it was last year i'm pretty sure it was two years ago because i was living with you wasn't i or was it after i wasn't living with you <clears throat> I want to say it was two years ago. I don't, anyways, years. If, not a lot of designs come out for the 11. No, no. And they and they do very well in the aftermarket. And Nike knows that. Well, you know why I think Nike does it? It's because they put such an insane amount of stock out in these. You can't really... <laughs> You literally cannot produce that many over and over like again. Like consistently. Because I remember, I think the shock drop was rumored to have like over 100,000 pairs. It was so a lot. Already over 100,000 pairs out there early access. Before the release, official release. And there's still probably another maybe a half a million of these shoes are going to be probably probably actually produced probably at least around 200 something thousand i imagine oh my gosh it's going to be it's going to be more than that for it, sure can you imagine the, like the shock drop was like and then they just released like half of what the shock drop oh, inventory was oh they'd be so sad oh it would be insane this but, would be a shoe to invest in oh if that's sure. the case because for sure I'm not, I'm not even joking from an investment standpoint. I'm not an investor, but just the, the way they do it. 225 on the retail. Oh, that is true, though. They did jack up the price. They're 190 usually, right? 190, I think. Was it? 200, maybe. 200. I, I, I don't the know. high model. 25 seemed very steep compared to what it was last year or the year before. So, But even then, though, they definitely didn't, you know, it wasn't a money grab. These are definitely high quality and they're going to last, especially for at least a year until the next, you know, Jordan 11 lease. But I am a really a big fan of this. I guess shoe. the Jubilees were 220. So these okay. are just like five bucks higher. Like, I, I don't really? I did not remember them being that I high. So. I mean, that kind of rings a bell, but I don't know. No, still though i mean I, I guess jordan 11s are just really expensive to make and they did release last year i think on was the it? 2020 oh, okay. in december oh, okay. so it was last year okay but that was a super clean shoe too very and nice. these are really nice these are super nice these are if so you guys, if you guys do cop i definitely would recommend they need to put out more jordan 11 models i don't think they can i wish they would no. they they i highly doubt that there is like I know they probably don't no want to. This is, I guess, this is the model they chose. This is the, the one that I really like. They, they chose to put out limited colors. They don't do. They don't mess with the Jordan Eleven. They really don't. I don't mess with the Jordan Thirteen, and they put them out every single <laughs> every single week of the year. <laughs> well, they're it's to just tell you, a new Jordan hey, Thirteen. You need to buy the Jordan Thirteen. Jordan Elevens look nice and low too. The Jordan Thirteen lows are pretty good. Yeah. Jordan Thirteen highs don't really love them. Yeah, I didn't. Or like just the like Jordan, the original Jordan Thirteen. Lows, but. <clears throat> Thanks for watching this clip from the Laced Up Show. If you want to watch the full episode, go ahead and click here and to subscribe for more sneaker related content click here but until next time peace